Make sure we're on here. And we're good. Hello, everybody. Hey, it's Mr. John here, and uh, I'm going to be doing a little drawing and animating today. Uh, let's get over to where we need to go. So uh, today we're going to be uh, using a app called Flip a Clip. If you don't have that app and you just want to draw it on a piece of paper, you're welcome to do that. That'll be cool too. Um, you could do it in pencil, pen, colored pencil, markers, whatever you want to do. Uh, but what I'm going to be demonstrating is uh, this uh, flip a clip app. We're going to draw this uh, frog. You probably saw the, the little uh, green frog that we had on the uh, on the event, and uh, and then we're going to do some animating with it, which is going to be kind of fun. Okay, um, I do want to um, acknowledge that uh, Tim Hodge is actually the artist of this frog, and so I'm borrowing his his uh, his uh, example, and uh, so he's going to be sharing it with all of you too. So, so let's go to our app, and uh, let's get started here. Okay, so this is the Flip a Clip app. We're going to start a new one. And we are going to name it. Let's just call it Frogger. How about that? Doesn't like that. Don't you hate that? Spell check. There we go. Create the project. Okay. All right, let's get started here. Okay, so again, you do not, with this app, you do not need to have a stylus. I am just gonna be using Mr. Index Finger here, and that's gonna be enough. Um, so the first thing, if, you're, if you haven't done this before, this is kind of the layout up in the, up in the left-hand side. You can see there's a, 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 a pen. That's the tool that we're going to be using to, to draw this initially. Um, you have your eraser just below it. You have your lasso, which allows you to grab things and resize them and move them around. You have your little bucket of paint there that allows you to color a whole area all at once. And then you have a text button down below there. Up at the top, you have uh, uh, a ruler. This is kind of your tool. You can draw lines, circles, squares. You have your copy, in case you want to copy something, you can copy something that you lasso, and then your paste. Okay, and so we're going to be using some of that, some of that today. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to draw the body of this frog. Okay, and so it's a little, it's a little egg shaped, kind of looks like a, like a shape of a D, but kind of tilted a little bit, kind of a rounded D. So um we're gonna start and kind of draw something like let's just go something like that i think that'll work now you can draw i mean if yours doesn't look exactly like mine that's fine it can be skinny it can be you know fatter it doesn't matter i i read somewhere that i think there's like 5,000 different species of frogs. Can you believe that? 5,000. So whatever your frog looks like, I'm sure it looks like one of these species, right? With 5,000 different options, you just make that body however you however you want. But this is the one I'm going with. <laughs> okay, so um, it's a little, I like the shape. It's a little, it's a little bigger than I want it. So I'm gonna come over to the lasso and I'm going to circle my body. It's going to give me this little square. I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit. A little more room. There we go. And put them right in the middle. Good. Okay. 
Now I can zoom in. I'm zooming in with my fingers. I'm just touching it and squeezing. I'm zooming in. I can zoom out if I go in like that. And now I'm going to put a couple of eyes, eyeballs in here. So we're just going to put two circles. Oh, wrong tool. Go back to my pen. There's an eyeball. And I'm going to make this one. Oh, I don't like that. I just undid that. I don't like that either. Yeah, close enough. Okay, those are my two my two eyeballs. I'm going to go to my eraser. I'm going to erase the body in here. Now, usually when you start this app, you need to go into the eraser. So I touched it again, and you need to adjust the size of it and how sharp it's going to be erasing. So down there, the you can see that. If I just touch this, I can sharpen this up, drop it down to zero, and it's a nice, hard, sharp eraser. I'm going to go to the one above it. That's going to tell me how big it is. 40 is too big. I'm going to go about to 10, maybe 12. 12 is fine. I zoom in here. Now I can erase. Oops. This eye a little bit like that. So if you have to get into tight places, you can make your eraser a little bit smaller. Okay. And if you're just joining us, all I did, all I've done so far is I've just drawn the body of this frog and two eyeballs. So you could probably catch up. It's not, it's not that difficult. So now we're going to draw the eyelids, which are just kind of halfway over the eyes, because the sog's this, this frog's kind of, I don't know, he's kind of sad, maybe a little droopy eyelids. Okay. And then uh, and we're going to draw irises and pupils there. And we'll fill that in with our pen. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot to do. He's just kind of hanging out, right? He's just, he's chill. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw, we're going to draw the mouth, all right? And that is going to come right from this lower left-hand side. And it's going to swoop over underneath the eyes. So we're going to go like that. There we go. I'm going to erase this little line that I went over with over here. And we're good. And I'm actually going to connect this line because later when I start coloring this, I'm just going to be using the fill. And if your lines aren't connected, It'll, it's going to go right past it. It's going to fill everything up with the same color. So this frog's going to be two-tone. He's going to have two different colors, green, and one's, one color is going to be by the eyes, and one's going to be on the chin there. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're going to draw the legs. And the legs, they kind of just look like two, like two leaves, you know, kind of on the side of a flower. Right. One, if you look at this guy, he's kind of facing to the to one side, so one leg is gonna show a little bit more than the other. So this one on the left is gonna be a little bit more exposed. So we're gonna come in here and I'm gonna go from right down at the bottom to right about up, right about up there where that dot is. So we're gonna go just like this. I'm gonna come down just like a leaf, right? That'll work. I'm gonna erase this. It's a little too, a little too sharp. Just kind of round his knee a little bit. Come down here and erase this. Oops. Get the right tool, right tool for the job. Okay. 
Yeah, so it's just kind of like a little, like a little leaf. Then we're going to draw. So that's both his, his that's his whole leg. So we're going to divide that up with just one little line. like that. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side, except that this leg is going to be kind of behind him. So it's not going to start so low. It's going to start a little bit higher up. And it's going to go to about the same height, about right there. We're just going to go up and back down like that. And we're going to put his, divide his leg. Like that. See, he's coming together. I'm actually going to move him up a little bit. So I'm going to use my lasso tool. I'm going to circle him and move him up just a little bit. So we're going to work on his feet now. I'm going to work on his feet. Everybody staying with me? It's not that difficult, right? Okay. So now his feet are going to come out to the sides and it's going to be kind of a, a web shape. So start right about there. And we'll just come out to the side and we'll just kind of do this. I don't like that. This way and then. A web shape like that. You got to connect the lines. There we go. And we're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to go make sure I can, my feet are the same size here. Come out to the side. And back in. There we go. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, now for these front legs. Now these are just, these are a lot smaller, obviously, right? It's frog. And we're just gonna put two little like C shapes. Okay, it's gonna be like, just like that. And over on the other side, we're gonna just kinda, kinda, it's gonna cover up his foot a little bit, his ankle there, but that's okay. We'll come back in a race. Something like that. And then for his hands, same type of thing. What I do usually is I just draw a circle here to start with. And then we can go in with the eraser and just erase out. Let's make this guy a little bit bigger. Erase out some of this. Or you might even just kind of come in here and make a little web feet afterwards. Okay, so if you're just drawing this, probably should be using a pencil, right? Kind of hard to erase a pen. Okay, now I'm erasing. I'm erasing where the arms are because they're out in front. So you're not going to be able to see the leg, obviously. Okay. Hey, hey, he's looking pretty good here. Now, this guy's got some, some little toes on the end of his feet. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here with the eraser and we're just going to erase the ends of the toes a little bit. Go back to our pin, and then you're just gonna make like little, what do they call them, dingleberries. It's a funny word. All right. And we're 
going to do it to all his toes, the front ones and the back ones. I'll just get all the erasing done first here. All right, what do you think? You almost there? That's our frog. Check it out. I like it. Okay, now we're going to color him. This is where it gets a little bit more interesting and fun. So we're going to go down to our bucket, bucket with the little drip there, hit it twice. And we, that pink right there is not what we want. We're going to go to nice green. So I'm going to go over here on the right. I'm going to pick a green. And this is going to be kind of a two-tone. So we're going to go lighter on the chest and the and the and the and the chin. So so that's pretty good. And so we're just going to touch right there. And then we're going to go back to our swatch and we're going to drag that down until it's a little bit darker. Close that out. And then we're just going to touch that that oops not that get up here to his eyelids good we'll go back to our swatch one more time go to yellow up to the right hand corner nice bright yellow color his eyes and we're good Okay, so if you're not doing this on the app, if you're just drawing this, it's probably going to take a little bit longer to color it. I understand that. But um, but that is our frog right there. You can go in, you could make, you know, some other little, you know, texture on him. You could make, you know, some little spots on his back or his legs or something like that if you want to. You feel free to be as creative as you want with that. Okay. But the next thing we're going to do is we're going to animate. So I am going to go down to the bottom. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it. And um, we are going to, I think what we're going to do is we're going to open his mouth and his tongue is going to come flying out and it's going to grab a fly. Okay. And suck it back in. How's that sound? So. So we'll go into our next one and we will go back to our pin and we're just going to open his mouth a little bit here. Okay, so we're just going to color this in black. All right, we're gonna copy that, paste that to the next frame. And then we're gonna have, now frogs are pretty quick with the tongue, right? That thing comes out really fast, All right? So when you're animating, when something goes fast, you don't need as many frames. Something's going slow, you need like 20 different frames just to, just to move a couple inches. But this thing's moving fast, so we only need like two or three frames to, to make this tongue come in and out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have to erase part of this so that I can draw the tongue coming out. I have to erase it and I'm going to go back in with the marker. Draw this in. Like so. A 
like that. I'll clean up some of this. Oops. There we go. Here comes the stone. All right, so let's go to our fill button and let's go find us a nice red. Fill that with red. Here comes the stone. Copy that, paste it. And now we're gonna extend his tongue. Just have to erase the end of it. Draw it a little bit longer. And then fill it in. Copy. Paste, erase the end again. A little longer. Fill. You don't have to go choose the color every time. It'll just remember the last one that you did. There he goes. I'm gonna copy that, paste it. And then we're gonna then the tongue has to go back in, right? So we don't have to redraw that. We're just gonna go back to the one where it's going back in, number four. I'm gonna copy that, hold it, copy, and we move to the end and we paste here. And the tongue starts going back in. Then we go back here to three, copy, go to the end. Paste, and all the way back in, copy, go to the end, paste, and then his mouth closes again, copy, go to the end, and paste. All right, so, oh, look at that. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Okay, well, uh, let's see. We got a couple minutes here. We're gonna get a fly. How about we get a fly? I don't know why he swallowed the fly. So we're gonna go to our pin. We're gonna make this lead a little bit smaller. It's kind of hard to draw small things with the, that lead like that. So right here, we are going to come up here. And we'll just do something kind of, I don't know. A couple little wings. Maybe kind of like a wasp or something. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's pretty small, so you're not going to see it very well. Way up there. There's our fly. Go back to our tools and go to our lasso. And we are going to lasso it and copy it up at the top, copy. And then what I like to do is I like to go to where he actually is gonna grab it. Make sure that he's grabbing it in the right spot. And then we're gonna paste. And then let's set him right on the tongue. And then we're done. Back here, paste, there. Then just keep going to each one, pasting, moving them right onto the tongue. Oh, you don't need him there, he's inside the mouth. So let's uh, do that. We do need him here. And here. We'll just have them kind of moving into the shot from the side there. Well, number two, I'm just kind of moving this guy out of the frame as I go back. 
So he'll be flying in this way. Okay. Whoa, good shot. Did you see that? Nice. Whoa. He's just eating flies all day long here. Check him out. How fun is that? Okay. So that's it. That's our frog. We drew our frog. We drew our our uh, our uh, fly. Animated him. Now you can do all kinds of things with this guy. You can uh, you can make him jump. You could add layers. You could put things behind. I'm going to show you real quick a uh, couple that I did. I'll show you this one with the fly that I did, where he kind of buzzed around for a while here, landed on his head, and then he ate him, right? That's kind of funny. And then uh, this one has uh, this one I added sound to, but I turned the sound off, but Oh, it's not animating for some reason. Technical difficulties, I guess. Okay. Well, anyway, on this one, he actually jumps off the screen. See that? Caught the fly, then he took off. Boom. He's out the door. Took off. Okay. So you do whatever you want to do. Have fun with it. You could have him hopping, you can have him shrinking, growing, whatever you want to do. Uh, just be creative, all right? And, uh, and uh, so that was fun. Thanks for joining me. If you weren't able to keep up, go watch it again. If you didn't get here in time to do it live, you know, go ahead and check it out later. So um, you guys have a blessed day and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.